Welcome to the MicroFocus Identity and Access Management video series. I'm Kent Purdy, Product Marketing Manager for Access Management. And I'm Paul McKeith, Identity and Access Management Specialist. You know, Paul, as I talk to folks about their Federation needs, I'm surprised to learn how little they know of what we have to offer. Can you uh, show off our solution? Uh, indeed I can. Uh, in fact, our uh, offering is very, very strong. So let's take a look at um, a list of things in a real administration console to see what we can offer for you. Sounds like a plan. Because not only can we offer it, we, it's very, very easy to configure. So in some of our other videos, we actually showed how to do the opposite side of this configuration with the app application catalog, if you recall, and bringing those in and doing it really easy. But to enable all of that and to do more, especially if you're doing custom, this is where you want to go. So this is the main screen here, and this is where I'm defining my identity provider, and that's up in this area up here. Then I have the ability to define multiple uh, user stores is what we call them, but these are basically areas or directories, different instances of directories, and we can support multiples at the same time, something some other vendors can't do either. And it's really easy just to, uh, to create those here. Now, if you go from left to right, it's somewhat of a progression in terms of uh, the industry. So we've been supporting Liberty Alliance protocols, which was the precursor to SAML 1.1, which we still support today. There are still some uh, applications out there that require that. SAML 2.0 is probably the most prevalent and the most popular that's out there amongst many of the uh, SaaS providers. I believe in our video, we even configured one of those. And it's also important to point out that you'll notice that we see a list of identity providers and service providers both here. And that's because we can act as either of those. Mm. Traditionally, we're the identity provider, especially for the enterprise world, where they're becoming, where they're owning the identities and it's the employees that are using it to access like Office 365 or ServiceNow. However, when we're the service provider, like in the other videos where we did uh, business to consumer, customer information access, or customer identity access management scenarios, then that's where we're acting as a service provider to allow that. Also for the enterprise guys is to get remote access or clientless VPN, I like to call it, into their environment to get to their applications uh, quickly, easily, and securely. Cool. Another one that's a, a little bit into the, uh, the more modern area is WS Federation. Now this one's pretty much been left to the Microsoft world so far right. these days. Yep. There are a few that uh, are a little bit more than that, and we do support all of the other sub protocols that are part of that WS Federation. And there are some customers that choose to use this protocol to go to like SharePoint and Office 365 sometimes. This one, the brokering tab technically is not really a protocol or a standard or anything, but it's very important. In fact, it's a unique offering that we have. So what this is going to do is allow you to act as a federation gateway so that all these other protocols we're talking about, we can translate between them. So you can have one service provider with one protocol, another service provider in another protocol. And this also allows you to do this so that you trust because a lot of times it can become a mesh network where a lot of people are right. interacting. This takes care of all of that for you, so you uh, simplifies it. It's also cool. So WS Trust is a, really a complement of WS Federation more than anything, uh, but there are some subcategories in, in there, like in the STS configuration. Right. Uh, so now the most modern and the most uh, sexy one, especially in the mobile world, is uh, OAuth 2 specifically. We used to support OpenID at one right. time when that used to be something, but now it's OpenID Connect and the protocols and all the rules and RFCs that go with that as well. So this one's really popular and really um, helpful in the mobile device world right. in terms of mobile applications, both uh, for the, the public world of building mobile apps, but also building your own. And I think even we uh, talked a little bit about us having an SDK to help you build some of those mobile applications. Yep, we do. Well, Paul, that's the full Federation gambit. It is indeed. In fact, there's even a few in here that a lot of people or a lot of other organizations have and aren't supported by other vendors. That's cool. Be sure to check our website to learn more about what MicroFocus offers for Federation. Meantime, also check out these other videos.